Let's wreck it. They got a million toys of toys or us that I can play with. I don't want to grow up. I'm a toy just kiss. They got the best for so much less. You really flip your lid. From bike to train to video games, it's the biggest toy store there is. Gee whiz. I Everyone, we're at in Highland Park at the abandoned Toys R Us. And I can't believe it's been five years since Toys R Us permanently closed. And this Toys R Us sign is still on the building, along with the rainbow tiles, that entrance sign, and there are a few other signs on the other side of the building and on Petco. But let's see the Toys R Us store itself. First, number one, that's the coolest thing. Toys R Us have been remodeled into new things or just taken down their logos like in the Schaumburg one and um, also watch that video. But this one still has to sign up. It's rainbow tiles and this cool Toys R Us entrance sign that has the backwards R. Yeah, that's a pretty cool entrance sign now that I think about it. Everyone is right about this that being a cool entrance sign. But as seen there, it's pretty empty. There's nothing in there anymore, really. Just that blue paint. And where there would have been Toys R Us carts. Right over there, and there's some more. Over there, you can't really see, but there are cash registers over there. Let's see, can you see over here? Not really, but let's see. I'm gonna keep walking on the side. It's so icy right here, I don't know why. It's been so nice outside, and the snow's been melting. You kinda see if that, Toys R Us sign was taken off. There's like a little black underneath. And let's look at see. these tiles. There's like in the alleys that we went to in um, Aurora. I'm gonna post that video soon. But here, there's another. This is the exit right here. It doesn't say exit though. I wonder why it doesn't say exit. But somebody, I'm pretty sure somebody wanted to get in here. Because that is literally banged up right there. They just broke the whole entire thing off the wall. But you can't really see inside. I'm gonna go right here, see if you see anything else. Yeah, I can kinda see the cash registers right there. They're one of the new ones, I'm surprised. You can't really see it though, cause if there's like a huge brick wall. But this, I think it would've had rainbow tiles up there if it was like different, like an older version, but now facing this way is the other Toys R Us sign to the street that way. But that's in the original Toys R Us logo with the parentheses and with the no R's. And that label scar up there is actually from Subway. I guess there's a Subway inside Toys R Us. But you can see that birds have taken over Toys R Us since there's like birds nests inside the Toys R Us sign. And to be honest, I haven't been in a Toys R Us store for five years. Or, i kind of been in a few in Macy's, but to shop at the real store and get a shopping cart, that was, it's been years. Well, we're back in the front. There was nothing. I actually thought I saw a Toys R Us green bag of some sort. But I didn't really record right here in, the, in this window. And there actually is lights, I actually would like to have that entrance sign. I know it's like way, it's like bigger than the camera, way longer than me. Cause this is huge for entrance sign, but it's so cool. But you can see automatic door, it says. No, it's not doing anything. Who's was that? Let's see. Oh, that's something. Still seeing if there's anything left. Toys R Us. Maybe this had something back then. Little thing. And that got to be a handle to open it. Clicker is off. The door does shake a little bit, one of them. And this was on the other Toys R Us store we saw in Schaumburg. Once again, watch that video. But I really like these rainbow tiles. Well, enough talking, click through here. See also like the Schaumburg one. There's, there's no, um, 
shoving units on the on the side, but you do see where they used to be. There's like a camera or something up there. I don't know what that is. Can't really see, but over here, I wish I was able to take out the glare more. No, you can't see it. Here, let's see. My brother's a protection. No, you can't see from there. But there are a few cash registers. You can see if you look under here. Oh, let me flip it over really quick. You can see right there and turn the flash on. I don't think you're going to see anything though. Yeah, you can't really see inside. But there are a few cash registers right there. It's like 8 and 7. Can't see it too good though. But too bad that this shade isn't even up all the way. It's not even up all the way. See the address right there. Well, guys, here's a Toys R Us sign from the street and it says Jude Lasco and Petco and Huntington. And there's Toys R Us right over there. We're actually leaving now. There's Toys R Us over there. Not gonna get close up to it. But I actually wonder how big that sign is. There it is up there. But you can see that there's tape up there. I don't know why there's tape up there. You can see that after all these years, the Toys R Us sign has been getting kind of rusted up. And there's Petco, Huntington, and Jewel Osco as well. But there's Toys R Us and Petco. Well, sorry, it's not clear. But on this side, it's a little better, the R. But that's a Toys R Us sign that you will see when you enter or leave. And also enter. And then there's Toys R Us. But let's see a little more. And guys, there was, that was actually that abandoned subway that kept um, telling us why, I kept wondering why I was like that. Alright, bye.